Thanks for tuning in to No Wine in No Time. I'm your host Dave and today I'm going to introduce you to a wine by the name of Suave. So for those of you that were around in the 1990s, this is not a wine named after the Ecuadorian rapper who produced the song by the name of Rico Suave, but it will help you pronounce the wine. This is actually named for a town in northern Italy by the name of Suave in the Veneto province. Now, a Suave wine is a white wine that's reliant on one single grape, and that's one called Garganiga. And Garganiga is an important grape to Italian viticulture because it's late ripening, has very thick skins, and a high glycerin content, which produces an oily type of persona. That adds weight to white wines. Now, in Suave, this wine must contain a minimum of 70% Garganiga. You can also blend it with up to 30% Trebbiano or grapes like Chardonnay. Or it could be up to 100% Garganiga. Now, this wine, as I mentioned, is important because it has multiple levels of quality. So we often talk about DOC and DOCG as it applies to Italian wines. And the DOC level, Suave, is actually wines that are produced in the greater Suave region. But they start to become a little more precise as they move forward in their DOCG classification, which is Italy's highest level of quality. So Suave, that's DOCG level, is either termed Suave Superiore, and that's a Suave that has an extra 10% alcohol by volume. Now, I don't mean 10% alcohol by volume, but if minimum on Suave is 10, we take 10% of that, and this must be at least 11% to be a Superiore. Then we also have Suave Classico, and Suave Classico is important because these are grapes that are taken from the very best parcels in Suave and it's in the eastern part of Vincenza in the foothills of the Lassini Mountains. So that's very, very important, and that delivers a higher quality DOCG level wine. Now, all Suaves, by law, after they're fermented, must be aged 12 months, then they must be placed in a bottle where they have to rest an additional three months. So that's 15 months of total aging after the wine's made. So you might be intrigued. We're talking about a firmer body, higher quality type of wine when we talk about a Suave. So the one I picked for you today is one by the name of Farina. That's who produced this wine. And it's a Suave. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. And the first thing that we notice in the glass is this Suave is very golden in its color. It actually has a beautiful texture. Uh, way beyond straw and definitely bordering on gold. As we swirl to liberate the aromas, the first thing that jumps out of the glass is something in between, say, orange zest and a little bit of melon. It really does smell very ripe, fruity, and a little bit floral. Let's go ahead and take a sip. As the Suave passes across the palate, the first thing that we notice is those beautiful kind of peachy and orangey type of, but I say orange, it tastes more like an orange blossom smells and a little bit like a tart peach taste. This is a wine that has a beautiful acidity, but yet it has significantly more weight. So as it clears the palate, we start to notice that weight and it starts to come back with a little bit of almost, um, almost spicy type of aromas. I, I taste things like a little bit of fennel and uh, the weight of it almost uh, kind of harkens to a little bit of beeswax. Um, so really a complex wine. So you might be sitting and thinking about what would this wine pair well with food wise. Uh, so some of the things I think are absolutely classic with the Suave is pasta with a cream sauce. Because the wine has extra weight and beautiful acidity, the weight can match with the creaminess of the sauce and the acidity can help cleanse the palate with something that's very rich. 
I also like Suave with a whole wide range of charcuterie. So it'll stand up to everything like uh, longer aged cheeses to even some softer type of cheese varietals. So I'm going to get back and enjoy a little bit more of this Suave. And I ask that you please tune in next time because soon you'll know wine in no time. Thank you.